Hey Zealand students, welcome to your new school year. I'm Mr. Jacob. And I'm Mr. Delora, and we're tech coaches for Zealand Public Schools. We know you're excited to get going, we also know you're excited to get your iPad. But before we hand it out to you, there's a few things that we need to talk about. Digital citizenship. What does it mean to be a digital citizen? I don't know, let's go to slide two and start talking about it. All right, here we go. Communication etiquette, what's that? I don't know, I've never heard of etiquette before. Uh, I think etiquette's French for etiquette. Thanks, that's helpful. Yeah, you're welcome. Maybe not. Well, here's what I think it means. I think it has something to do with our behavior, how we act. Communication etiquette, what is appropriate when we communicate? We've learned that the iPads are some incredible communication devices. Same with your cell phone and same with your MP3 player. But how do we use these tools appropriately? I don't know. I just, I just love walking around texting and not looking at people. That's the best. Is that really the best? Well, we want to challenge you and encourage you to seek out relationships first. Yep. Anytime you can communicate with somebody face to face, we highly encourage you guys to seek out that face to face communication first. Then send emails and texts only when needed. Yeah, so if you have a beef with your teacher, uh, don't send an angry email. Maybe send an email saying, hey, I'd kind of like to talk with you tomorrow. Can we get together after school? That's a good idea. Don't send How about some... before school? Yeah, or maybe during lunch? Uh, no, go eat lunch. Skip lunch. But that's a great idea. And remember, there are some proper ways to send emails and text messages. Refrain from sending an all caps text message or email. Or how about the one that opens with, yo, Mr. J? You're not Mr. J? Well, I am, but starting off with yo is kind of informal when you're addressing somebody who's older than you. Older than you. <laughs> he is definitely older Old. than you. Old. So there's an appropriate way to address your teachers, parents, and your principals. Maybe start with, dear Mr. Jacob. Or, hello, Mr. Delora. Good idea. But don't, don't, don't open with, a, oh, hello, Mr. Delora, if you're emailing me, because that'll confuse me. Yeah, he's easily confused. So think about how we appropriately and respectfully communicate with others, which brings us actually back to number two, the golden rule. Everybody knows the golden rule. Communicate with respect. That's not the golden rule. <laughs> do not. unto others as oh. you would have them do unto you. Mm. Which, in this case, we're going to communicate uh, with respect. So think about how you like to be uh, engaged through communication and face-to-face -face discussion and receive emails. And let's try to be respectful when we send those emails and text messages. So that means uh, you need to have proper expectations and boundaries, right? Think about sending an email at 10 o'clock at night. Are you really expecting your teacher to return that email right at 10.04? That I, night? I've had students who yelled at me the next day in school asking me why I didn't get back to them that night. Proper expectations. So remember, we have lives too, even though, yeah, we have lives too. <laughs> remember, let's have some proper expectations and set those boundaries. When is a good time to email? What are my expectations for getting an email back? And boundaries too, when we're communicating, make sure we're communicating in an appropriate place. If we're Skype messaging somebody, or if we're video conferencing, or using FaceTime, make sure it's in a place that's appropriate, it's public, uh, and it's not going to cause any harm to anybody else. And just think about, you know, things you send, anything you send through email or over the internet could end up in somebody else's inbox, on somebody else's website. So you have to think twice about what you put out there. Excellent advice, Mr. Jacob. Well, that wraps it up for communication etiquette. Let's go on to our next topic, internet connectivity. So what kind of actions are you taking online? We want to really encourage you guys to be responsible and purposeful when you're surfing the internet. What responsible means is making sure that you're staying away from sites that probably are not a good idea. So if you have to ask yourself the question, would my mom or dad really be happy if they saw me on this website? then chances are pretty good you shouldn't be on that website. Well, and also being responsible, you need to think about why you got on there in the first place, right? Have you ever had that where you got on the internet and two hours later you're like, oh, why did I, why did I launch Safari in the first place? 
that's really being purposeful. So it's kind of like taking your car out for a joy ride. You can waste a lot of gas, a lot of time, and get nowhere. So make sure you're purposeful. We want to really encourage you guys to think about starting a task and seeing it through from beginning to end in one sitting instead of trying to multitask. In fact, you know what? I think I'm selling new shirts this year that says single tasking is the new multitasking. <laughs> You want to buy one? I, I will buy one. Yes, please. Excellent. I've made my first sale. <laughs> so um, what are some things that they can do to minimize the distractions so that they can actually stay on task and get their work done and then maybe do some digital joyriding? I'm not really sure what you have in mind, but I think you're going to tell us. Oh, well, couldn't they turn off like any sort of instant messaging type or things notifications? and alerts? Yeah, sure. There's great ways to turn off your notifications. If you don't want to be distracted, go into your settings, into your notification center, and turn off all notifications. That way, you won't see the little one or the green banner pop up that says you have a new text message or that you have a new email. It's okay. You can uh, Those emails will be there when you're done with your work. You can go back to those and check them when you're done. So this is about self-control. It is. It takes a lot of self-control. So be responsible and purpose purposeful when surfing online. Next, so, Well, so when you're creating your online profile, you have all the control right there, right? As far as how you set it up? Yes, you do. So when you're creating online profiles, we want to really encourage you guys to be yourself. So with, with the idea of not giving away too much information online. So creating a virtual profile is kind of like creating a new identity. This is my new identity. And a lot of us try to be someone we're not. And really, the cool thing about a, an online profile is when you are actually yourself. So we want you to be you. But remember, there's personal information that you don't want to share, such as your home address or your phone number or sometimes your email and mm -hmm. certainly your social, social security number. Never share that online. Or passwords. Or passwords. I've had students who've just handed off their password to other students so they could access whatever, and now it's out there. That's a big danger. We really want to encourage you guys not to share passwords with your peers. Password safety is a huge concern because when other people have your password, they can get in and they can act as you, mm -hmm. which poses a real danger. Now, someone you may want to share a password with would be like a trusted parent. Yep. And a good idea then is to have them have those passwords so that they can also uh, see your activity online. That adds a nice level of accountability for you and helps keep you safe. Which brings us to digital footprints. I don't know what that's about. I think it's when you walk all over computers. Oh, right. That's dangerous. Just kidding. <laughs> it's not. Your digital footprint is the mark that you're leaving right now on the internet by your activity. So. Any of those social media sites that you're joining, those posts that you're posting, those pictures that you're taking and sending, those Skype conversations that are recorded are all leaving a digital footprint, this breadcrumbs trail of who you are. So we really want to encourage you guys to make healthy decisions out there, responsible uh, decisions that are respectful of others and yourself. And that's your digital footprint. Social media sites. Do you know what social media is? I have no idea. You're not on Facebook, are you? No, I'm kind of antisocial. I have an antisocial media site. <laughs> He's I, pretty funny. I don't friend anything. No, or, or anyone. Or like anything. A lot of us know what social media sites are. Facebook, Twitter, in school, Edmodo, Moodle, Google Sites, Google Groups, Google Hangouts. So those are all great places. Do all these have to have a ooh sound in the middle of them to be a social media site? Ooh. Move. Yes, I guess so. Boom. I think I'm There's gonna... another one. Boom. <laughs> um, we want to really encourage you to keep it positive. When you're posting statements or pictures online through social media sites, make sure that, you know, whatever you're posting, your grandmother would be proud of that. Yeah, not just base it on would you say that to the person to their face? Because some people would actually say that to their face. Like, you're bald. Yeah. What? I said that to your face, oh, but that's not really nice, is it? <laughs> that's, well, and it true. wasn't keeping it positive. No. 
So you have to, you need to contribute in a meaningful way is what you're saying. Yeah, especially when it comes to school social media sites like Edmodo and Moodle, discussion forums and Google groups really want you to contribute to a meaning, uh, contribute to the conversation in a meaningful way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had some students last year who put some ridiculous things on Edmodo and thought it was hilarious. <laughs> but it wasn't. <laughs> that was hilarious. Thanks. Let's talk a minute about cyberbullying. I think we've heard the term quite a few times, but really want to encourage you guys that cyberbullying is not cool. All right. So make sure the words that you're saying, the posts and the pictures that you're taking and put them online are not going to be harmful in any way to anybody else. Cyberbullying is not cool. Well, you did I get, say that already? I think you did, but it's true. And you can get in trouble for doing that, right? Yeah, you can get in a lot of trouble, not only by your school, but at higher levels of authority, like police and the state level. Mm -hmm. So make sure your actions online are not going to be perceived as hurtful or harassing or demeaning uh, or compromising of anybody else. So you should report bullying on and offline. I like that reminder because I've had students come to me and let me know when they're being bullied on and offline. So yeah. I think a good reminder maybe is to uh, go to a teacher that you trust. Definitely. Go to a teacher or adult that you trust, a parent, teacher, principal, and report that. It does need to be reported. We know that you think maybe, oh, it's not cool to rat somebody out. But honestly, we have a responsibility when we come across that, that uh, we need to put an end to it because if nobody ever approaches that person and tells them to stop, they're going to keep on hurting other individuals. So take your part, take your role, and your responsibility and report that to a teacher or to a building principal. Good advice. So what do you mean by ask before you shoot and post? Well, taking pictures through Instagram or other, uh, just using your camera on your iPad uh, is a lot of fun. Believe me, I love taking pictures. But it's never appropriate to just take a picture without somebody knowing, especially if you're going to post that online. So make sure before you snap that shot, you ask the person and you tell the person what you're planning on doing with that, especially if it's a, a photo or a video here taken here at school. Oh, yeah. I've had students come to me and say, hey, really funny pictures online, Mr. Jacob. And I'm like, what? He had no idea. I had no idea. I hope they caught your good side. Not sure. <laughs> We're not sure what that is. Again, remember your digital footprint here that you're leaving. So these are footprints that are set in concrete, impossible to erase. Make sure you're leaving uh, a mark that you're going to be proud of someday. Can I ask you a question about digital footprint? Sure, go ahead. When you're using the iPad, do people know where you've been on your iPad? They do. They can track your history on the iPad. So here at the district, they know what you've been doing? Yes, they do. So that's an important reminder. Yep, it is an important reminder. So make sure what you're doing is appropriate and responsible. Good advice. What do you have next, Mr. Lloyd? Excellent. Let's move on to our last slide. Setting healthy boundaries. Again, we want to continue to encourage you guys that you guys are sending messages to other people with uh, the use of this technology in the school. So unplug from the technology and plug into life. Remember, relationships are the most important thing in life. Relationships will never go away. Technology kind of comes. Oh, sorry. And goes. I'm, I'm really into this. This is a lot of, this is good times right here. And you're kind of sending me the message that you just don't care about me or that maybe I'm only worth one ear if you have <laughs> one ear plugged in and one not. So think about the message that you're sending when you're using this digital technology. And let's. Try to unplug from the technology for a little bit. Get out, enjoy life, put it down, plug it in. Uh, sorry, I'll cut that part out. Okay. So come into the classroom ready to have a conversation. Don't walk in with one of your earbuds or both earbuds hanging out of your ear. Even if you aren't listening to anything, it makes everybody else around you think that you're not hearing them. Yep. Have a conversation. Say hello. Seems simple, doesn't it? But I frequently have to remind my students to enter the room and actually act like they want to talk to me. At home, too. Make sure you're putting it down. Get out, enjoy the backyard, be with your friends, enjoy those relationships with your family members. 
Um, the iPad does not need to go everywhere uh, around town with you. So, there's life beyond the rectangle. Yeah, there's life beyond the rectangle. Maybe that's my other t-shirt. Life <laughs> beyond the rectangle. I'll take one of those too. All right, excellent. Okay. Um, and above all, we really want you to respect others and respect yourself. What you're doing here is, again, leaving that digital footprint. On behalf of Mr. Jacob and myself, Mr. Delora, we want to say thank you guys for watching and considering what it means to be a responsible and respectful digital citizen. We want to say congratulations on uh, earning your iPad, and we really want to encourage you guys to do great things with it this year. Make yourself better learners and your school a better and more positive place to be. So have a great year, and we look forward to seeing what you guys are doing with the iPads.